Hey Panthers, welcome to the Forest Fire. I'm Andrew. And I'm Sarah. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd, 2010. Let's see what Emily has to say about Silver Streams. Thanks, guys. I'm here at Tonga Gay to talk about Silver Streams. We heard the deadline was extended. Can you tell us why that is? It's been extended because of the fact that we have not gotten enough submissions for Silver Streams. We need more submissions. And when is the deadline extended to? It's extended till this Friday. Um, you can drop your submissions off in the library, Miss Twig's room, any of your English teachers, or Miss Nickel in C-108. Make sure you get your submissions in. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Emily. Let's check out what's in the inbox. Students who are interested in applying for the Corey Matthew Brooks Memorial Scholarship should see Dr. J or Miss Bossley to pick up an application. Project Lighthouse is looking for donations of food and clothing. They are due the last day before spring break in the weight room or A113. Any student who has taken journalism, broadcasting, yearbook, or newspaper first semester may go to the SCSPA meeting on April 26th. See Ms. Herring for more information. Any auditions for Crown of Forest High School show choir will begin Tuesday, March 23rd through Thursday, March 25th. Auditions will be held in the choir room after school. All current 11th graders who want to, go, who want to take the PACE HGTC classes next year, please meet Thursday, March 25th at 8.30 in the community room. SEM Boss, now checking with Lou for our Panther Sports. Thanks, Andrew. Now check out what's going on with our Panther Sports. The Zavarti boys and girls track meet home against Andrews at 5. The Zavarti baseball and softball game home against Conway at 6.30. The Zavarti boys soccer game home against South Florence at 7. The boys golf has a match against Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach at Myrtle Beach National. Now we're going to check in with Donna. She introduced Tim off the track team. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Tim LeFave from the track team. Um, I heard you guys had a meet on Saturday. How'd that go? Uh, we did pretty good. We uh, we improved a lot from last year. A um, couple of guys got medals. Ricky Canark actually got, I believe, three medals. He did really good. And overall, it was a good performance from everybody. Who did you guys um, play against? Uh, well, there were a lot of teams there. I'd say between 17 and 20 teams there. And... Some big teams were Wando, James Island, a few more, and there were a lot of good teams, and we did all right. When is your guys' next meet? Um, our next meet is tomorrow home. All right, well, you guys, make sure you congratulate the track team and come to the next meet. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Don. Now let's go back to Sarah and Andrew for the forecast and lunch. Thanks, Lou. Now let's check out the daily forecast. Today is sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 43. Tomorrow is mostly sunny with a high of 74 and a low of 46. For lunch today, they'll be serving chicken alfredo, field peas, yeast roll, jello with fruit, or Philly cheesesteak sandwiches with fries. Subscribe to the show at www.youtube.com slash CFHS Forest Fire. Thanks for watching the Forest Fire and have a toaster strudel. <laughs> Stop me, I swear